Did you ever see a dream walking? Well, I did. Did you ever hear a dream talking? Well, I did. Hey guys, it's Mike here again with Viper Paranormal. Today's video we're going to talk about the importance of reviewing your evidence and exhausting all possible explanations before you present it as paranormal. In 2003 I went on my first paranormal investigation. Three friends and I grabbed a video camera and headed out to a local cemetery to investigate the legend of the full-bodied headless apparition. The legend goes a little something like this. There was a man riding a motorcycle. I don't recall exactly where it was at, but he was in a horrible accident and he was decapitated. Well, as the legend goes, if you go into this cemetery at night, it's very, very possible that you might see the full-bodied apparition of the man walking down the hill of the cemetery looking for his head. Six years later, with a whole lot more equipment, a whole lot more experience, and a whole lot more knowledge, we decided to head back to this cemetery to see if we could capture this full-bodied apparition on film. Now generally when we choose places to investigate, especially if they're outside, we like to stay as far away from main roads as possible, as far away from houses and any other disturbances as we can. At this particular place, it was off of a main road, and we did have a lot of traffic going by, but due to the legend, we thought it would still be worthwhile to go out and check it out. The video clip that I'm about to show you was shot from one of our mini DV cameras. You're going to see something attempting to manifest and form behind one of the tombstones and it's actually going to be moving. Now keep in mind this video is for educational purposes and it only emphasizes the fact that you need to exhaust all possible explanations before you present your stuff as paranormal. James Tom here yeah. Now let me explain the piece of video you just saw. Across the street from the cemetery was a large church, and obviously that church had lights on it. Well, when you're walking through there with a the naked eye and you look over, nothing seems out of the ordinary. However, if you're shooting on your camera, it's going to be a completely different story. When you're investigating with a video camera at night, things are going to appear completely different to the naked eye as they do when you get your footage home and start reviewing it. I'm going to tell you what happened in that particular video. Generally, when you're out, you're investigating and you've got your camera you want to keep slow pans just like this nothing fast just side to side here well in this particular video what I'm actually doing is walking with the camera and the camera's not going like this it's actually moving from side to side like this and what this is doing is giving the illusion of movement so the light that we captured from across the street is actually appearing to manifest and move around away from us behind the tombstone and there you go. Well, there you have it. The importance of exhausting all possible explanations before you consider it paranormal, even if it means you have to return to the site to try to debunk it yourself. Again, I want to thank you for watching. Don't forget to check out our website, www.viperparanormal.com. Please rate, comment, share, and subscribe. Did you ever see a dream walking? Well, I did. Did you ever hear a dream?